Hey, I'm doing well. What about you? I'm great. I'm great. Thanks for joining me today. Well, it's my pleasure. Hans got a big challenge. Facebook is issuing all kinds of challenges. They want us to be live. So she needs to do 10 hours of live streaming. So yes. And you have to fulfill 5,000 stars, correct? 5,000 stars, that's right. And last Friday, I almost hit my target. I only need 600 more stars. So, so you guys go ahead and, you know, comment with a star on Marlene's Facebook page. Do you have a link there? I It's in the um, pinned comment on my Facebook. Okay, guys. So last week, I don't know if you watched us last week, but we, we made... Uh, sugar cookies. Marlin used actually um, a lime zest, orange zest, and lemon zest in her cookies. They are the cookies on the right hand side you see there. And I use some uh, sprinkles to make confetti cookies. And you can find this recipe um, in our coffee shop in a pantry fund, or you can also check it out on my blog. And then on Friday, those of you who watch our Friday lives, we decorated these cookies so you can check out the live stream. A replay is, hi, Julie, a replay is available on both of our YouTube channels and Facebook. So check it out. Can I just uh, comment something? Because, yes. you know, everybody's baking literally from all over the world, all kinds of dis different ingredients. Han, if you didn't know, is in Spain. I'm in Quebec, Canada. I just want to point out the cookies. You see the color difference? That's just from our butter. Butter is is a little bit of a recipe in itself, and the manufacturing of, of butter in all the countries varies. So my butter is whiter than her butter, and that's the color difference between the cookies. It's not that hers are, well, they are maybe a little bit more caramelized, but the butter was a, a reason for the color difference, in case you were wondering why hers are yellower than mine. Yeah, the butter here, it is quite yellow. I don't know if it's, um, I don't know why that is. <laughs> well, here, what I heard, it was just to differentiate from the margarine. So your margarine in your country is probably quite light. And it's just so to people for people to know, oh, that's real butter. Oh, okay. I think so. All right. That's so, well, today, guys, I don't know if anyone is joining us today. We're going to be... Um, baking one bowl sponge cake, super easy to do, and we're making it so, you wanna answer that? It was you said they were really very, good that your family uh, ate yeah. them. I didn't ice them, they were supposed to be for my son's graduation and they disappeared, everybody really liked them. And I have to say they were very beautiful because the photo didn't capture it as well, but lemon zest doesn't show that much, whereas this orange and lime shows, so it almost looked like natural confetti in the cookie. So it, it, you guys should try it. It was very, very nice. So I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it myself as well. Um, all right, so today we're going to do one, one bubble sponge cake. This recipe is on the blog. And I'm also including, and Marlin as well, in our coffee shop um, supplies that we are gonna be using uh, in today's live and all the tools, so you guys can check it out. Um, some of my favorite tools include the bowls. I love KitchenAid bowls. These are silicone bowls. They are really, really great. They don't slip uh, on the countertop. And I'm also going to show you a few other tools as we are preparing the batter. Um, you can find this recipe, like I said, on the blog or also in a coffee shop. Coffee shop, there's a link to the recipe. It's so at this the point, yeah. The coffee shop address is uh, at the bottom there if you guys are looking for it. And then here, there's Amber's as well. She has a coffee shop. She's not on with us today, but she's usually on with us on Fridays. And you can see there the address. And so I actually added the, your supply list to mine to hands so that they could find since this is hands recipe. Okay, Everything. so I'm curious, is anyone baking along with us today, guys? I hope I, I the only thing I bake are cookies. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why okay, so if you're baking along with us, turn on your oven at 350, okay? That's 180 uh, degrees of Fahrenheit. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks for joining us, guys. So I'm going to turn on my oven. So, Han, Julie wants to know, is sponge cake the same as angel food cake? 
Did you Sorry, I didn't hear that. Is sponge cake the same as angel food cake? Angel, angel food cake is with egg whites. Sponge cake is also egg yolks. But I mean, um, yeah, as far as I know. I don't make angel food cake a lot. Okay. I only made it a couple times. But uh, sponge cake, it has, and I believe um, angel food cake doesn't. I My sponge cake, it's kind of like a... I would say foolproof recipe that I have on the blog. It also includes a little bit of um, fat. I believe Angel Food Cake doesn't have any fat in it as well. All right, so let's wow. start. Um, I'm going to quickly show you how I like to prepare my pan. Hey, Jeremy. This is another favorite. This is a USA pan. This is 9 by 13. I love this brand. I can't stress this enough. This is one of my favorite brands. I'm just trying to get, there we go. Yes, a lot of egg whites, exactly. So uh, what I like to do, another favorite thing. This is my favorite parchment to bake with. <laughs> and this is off uh, Amazon. And this one is actually slightly coated. You know, we always talk about the parchment, how some of it is not coated and some of it is coated. So this one is slightly coated. So what I'm looking for is about two inch overhang on each side. Or maybe slightly bigger, that's fine. All right, so now that we have this, I'm going to make straight cuts. If you're used to like greasing your pan and putting flour, have you not tried parchment paper? You have to try parchment paper at least one time in your life and you'll get converted. <laughs> right, Han? I can barely hear you again, so uh, I don't know what you were saying. I was just saying that if you've never tried parchment paper to try it at least one time. Yes, parchment is great for so many different things. It's great to like, you know, for cleanup, you can cover your work surface with it. You can bake with it. You can make pastry bags with it. All right, so now I'm going to, what I'm going to do, I'm folding this in, creating a corner. You see? Cynthia, if you go in my coffee shop and download almost any supply list, you'll find the link to my airbrush. It's listed in every supply list for almost every project. And this is a, you can use the same technique to prepare your square pan when you're making uh, brownies. And then what's really good about this, that once your brownie is cool, you can just use this excess parchment and you lift it up and place it on your cutting board. So you don't have to you know, have a hard time flipping it over, or I don't know how you take your um, brownies out, but so this is what you can do. Now, before I'm gonna, I'm gonna also add some um, um, nonstick spray. It doesn't have to be nonstick, but just something so it sticks to it, and then we're going to butter it and flour it, or you can use a nonstick and flour. What pen are you using, Mar? Uh, mine is, I guess, a Wilton. It's a, just a, very regular. Nothing special. I did my parchment paper earlier. Joanne uses... Okay, I don't know. Paper. I have not used this to coat anything, but um, I'm going to just grate the grill fry and roast. <laughs> It should work, no? Well, I don't know I where don't, my nose is. I don't, I don't feel um, like getting butter out. I don't spray my parchment paper. No, I, oh, well, okay, let's try it without it. I always do um, parchment with um, flour and stuff. Really? Still. Oh, I don't. I just, that, that parchment paper is, like, it releases, so. 
Hello, Sally. Hello, Bunny Fox. Yes, cannoli, anything right now. Okay, we're gonna shake out the excess and then uh, you can set this aside. You can also bake this um, bake this cake in a round pan. Uh, it takes two eight or two nine inch pans. Um, also, I made cupcakes with it that turned out, turned out really nice. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna set this aside. Now we are going to use five large eggs. Andrea, we're prepping for tomorrow's live today. We're making a sponge cake so that it, it can go in the fridge and cool, and tomorrow we'll be doing our assembly at 1. So you can come back and see us putting together a strawberry shortcake tomorrow. Hello, Sharon. So you want to make sure, that in this recipe, it is super important, and with, all, I guess, all the baking, um, most of the baking, not the pie. When you're making pie, uh, pie uh, though, you need chilled butter. But... Um, in this recipe, it is important that you use room temperature eggs. So if your eggs are still cold, just put them in warm water um, and in 10 minutes, they should be ready. The recipe is on Han's blog. If you guys are interested, Bonnie, you asked. If you go on her blog, hanyelis.com, you'll find one bowl sponge cake and that's uh, where you'll find her recipe. All right, so now I'm going to, this is an optional ingredient, but I do like to add cream of tartar, just because it stabilizes eggs and they whip better. But if you don't have cream of tartar, you can use um, a little bit of vinegar or um, lemon juice. I'm just going to add a quarter teaspoon or uh, one eighth of an eighth teaspoon, it's fine. So so should I add my, I'm going to put my bowl there. Should I start too? Oh, yeah, yeah, please. You haven't? What are you I, doing? Well, I was watching you measure <laughs> You're slacking it. over there? I'm slacking, yeah. So I'm going to leave my bowl small there, and then you can continue. I'm going to turn my uh, my uh, speaker off so that they don't hear my mixer. Do you want me, because you're talking. Oh, I'll by the way, I've got a second beater. Oh, look at you. Yes, I'm all fancy. Last week I was only using one beater to make sugar cookies, if you can imagine. That was something else. And so they gave me another beater. I went to return it and I've got two beaters now. Thank right, you. So I'm Jennifer. going to add my cream of tartar and then we're going to beat the eggs for about a minute and then we'll add granulated sugar. And I'm using one cup granulated sugar, with, that is white sugar, and that's about 200 grams or so. Anyone baking with us? Yes, it's quiet today. Well, we're not used to streaming on Mondays, so it's a little quieter. Everybody's used to us. Marlene has generously offered her time to help me reach 10 hours of live streaming on Facebook, so I get a little bonus from Facebook. So that's why we are. We normally wouldn't do it on Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. That's a bit. Uh, and then I'm doing another live on Instagram, so that's a lot. So now I'm adding, um, this is a cup of granulated sugar. And now we're going to beat it until it turns pale in color and it's going to double in volume, which is about maybe five minutes, maybe, maybe sooner, like depending on how fast your mixer is going. 
Mar, are you using handheld? I turned off my sound because of the mixer. Yes, I'm using my handheld because I don't find you can see in the bowl with my KitchenAid. So this way I have my big, big bowl and you can see better. Okay, uh, have you seen our feed, the comments? Jeremy, <laughs> so it's from the alcohol out to we are okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to add sugar and uh, you guys behave in the comments. Can you turn us off? Okay. I printed your recipe, so I'm reading it over here. So she has two versions of this recipe. One, I think, with egg whites being whipped or something. Right? But this one, she changed it to make it all in one bowl to make it easier for you guys. I've it several times. Are you trying to say something? I was just saying that you changed your recipe to make it easier for them that you made the one bowl yes yes yeah, well i mean it is it uh, it does taste a little different than my traditional sponge cake um the one that i have already on the blog involves um folding in meringue you know and some people are not very good at folding things they are very very vigorous and uh, hard with their hands so then the egg egg whites deflate and it doesn't work for them so Hopefully this recipe will be better for those of you guys. And this is a really like quick to put together, you know, recipe. You still need a handheld mixer because the beating of the sugar and eggs, it takes a little, lo little longer. So I'm gonna continue beating it now, okay? Okay, go for it. Are you controlling the mic or no? You're really not loud. Okay. Oh, I'm not loud. Okay. No, it's not loud. My husband would say that I'm super loud. Yeah, June, I was talking about her her mixer making like a racket. I don't find it's that just like annoying. You see how nice it that looks? Like it's all, you know, in pale color and um, it thickened up a little bit also. Now I'm going to, I haven't tried it with coconut oil, but I wanted to test it. So today I'm also testing while doing this with, you know, with you live. Normally I use vegetable oil, but um, oh, it smells so good. So I'm going to try coconut oil today instead mm. of vegetable oil. Good luck. Yeah, I know. <laughs> if it doesn't turn out, it's going to be terrible. Mm. I'm going to beat in, this is a half cup. Like I said, normally I use vegetable oil, okay? So today I'm trying coconut oil. We'll see how it turns out. And you want to add this in about like three additions. You don't want to just dump it in, just slowly beat it in. Now the next ingredient, I'm going to use milk and I have to get it out of the fridge. 
because I completely forgot about milk. If you don't have milk and you are like in a pinch, you could also use water. But I do like to add milk because it just makes it a little more tender and like richer. So I'm going to. We need to heat up about a half cup, not about half cup of milk until it's about lukewarm. You don't want to add it all to your eggs. Why not? Well, like I was saying, it doesn't doesn't work well. Like if you're adding, you know, cold, it's going to kind of mess it up. Okay. I'm using powdered milk. That's what I always have around my house. Is almond milk okay? April wants to know, is almond milk okay? I can't hear you very well, so I don't know what you said. I said April would like to know. I think it should be okay. Yeah, I haven't tried it, like, but I think it should be okay. Okay. Oh, oh, Jeremy, I hope you are feeling better. Yes, it will deflate the eggs, exactly. That was, thank you. How was your Father's Day, by the way, everyone? Well, I guess we have mainly ladies on the call. <laughs> well, they but, were uh, in, Jeremy, how was your Father's Day? <laughs> yes, and, and the Father's Day in general for the families, right? There's always, everybody has a father. There's only one way to test if this is lukewarm or not, so I'm going to do it, okay? <laughs> and it is pretty, pretty nice, so I'm going to use it. Again, don't just dump it in, add it in about two or three additions. I can smell the coconut in there. So good. All right, so today I'm going to be using vanilla extract. Always use vanilla extract in everything. And we talked about uh, my favorite brand. Now, this is um, the brand that I really like. I also like Madagascar uh, vanilla uh, extract from other brands. And it's also included in my um, PDF supply list in coffee shop. Okay, so I'm gonna add one whole tablespoon. Okay. Oh, this one is okay. Almost. All right. So now I'm going to quickly get my flour going. I'm using two cups all-purpose flour, which is about 290 grams around there. At least for me when I measure the flour. Uh, Han, June's asking, do you think it's true that mixing the vanilla with the eggs enhances the vanilla flavor? Do you think it's true that mixing vanilla with eggs enhances the vanilla? I don't know. It smells great in here. I've never heard that, June. I don't know, maybe it is true. I really don't know. Uh, there's so much I don't know. Where did you read that? I turned it back on. I had turned it off so that you guys wouldn't hear my mixer and then I forgot I had turned it off. So sorry about that. I was trying to be considerate to your ears. So this recipe also uses baking powder. I'm adding one teaspoon and well, very, very glad you had a nice Father's Day, Lara. <laughs> and uh, three quarters of a teaspoon. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, 
two, three. And we also need a little bit of salt. I can't figure out these. I mean, this is the weirdest, like, look at this. Like, oh. how are you supposed to use this? It doesn't really, like, have you seen any of these? Such a weird um, design, I have to say. I always struggle with it. Am I supposed to do it this way? Okay, I got a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm going to quickly. All right. If you don't have a whisk on hand, you can just quickly, you know. June says, June says she's going to look to see where she saw it and, and report back. Yeah, to I'm, I'm curious. I love reading Cooks Illustrated and all their, you know, chemistry behind baking. It's so fun, but I've never heard that. Adding vanilla, but it would, you know, I wouldn't be surprised. So now I'm going to actually slip it in in about three additions again, and I'm going to mix it in a low speed. Put your salt in another container, she's suggesting. Hmm? Your salt, your salt. Oh, yeah, I do. I do have it in a, another container, but like, um, yeah, it's not on hand here, so I just pulled that out. But it, it is so weird, isn't it? Now I'm going to mix it on low speed, okay? And I'm only mixing it until it all kind of like becomes moist and we don't want to overbeat it. I can smell the coconut oil. I'm curious to see how this is gonna turn out. Okay. Hello, Sonia. Okay, taste check so we don't. Okay, it's sweet, so that's good. Have you ever forgotten sugar in your cake? Because I have. I was making um, chocolate cake. Me too. Oops, sorry. Oops. Me too, I did that. So fun. <laughs> you ruin all your ingredients. It's so wasteful. I hate that. So I've put mine in the oven already. Okay, excellent. Now I'm going to tap it down to remove excess air bubbles and I'm, I'm going to put it into the oven. So guys, if uh, you want to rewatch the live stream, you can watch it on replay. Han's got the supply list in her coffee shop. I added it in mine as well. And you'll find her recipe on her blog for the, for the sponge cake. And um, tomorrow we'll be back on at one with fresh strawberries. And we're going to be putting it together. We're going to be doing two. I hope I can find them. strawberries. I mean, it seems like the season here, it's almost like over. They were really, really abundant in uh, in May, end okay. of May or like middle of May. So hopefully, hopefully I can find some. We live where I live in Quebec. It's an interesting thing because the temperature varies if you go, you know, more north. And so we get strawberries shipped from there. 
And so they're, oh. they're from like a colder area. And so the season gets extended because of the temperature being colder there. You know what I mean? So I'm going to wash my hands and then I'll show you some of my favorite tools that I included in a supply list so you guys oh, yes. can see them. The scale. She keeps on talking about her scale. So if you guys didn't bake with us right now, you still have time to bake tonight to join us tomorrow for the assembly if you want to make um, the strawberry shortcake with us. And then you get to eat strawberry shortcake. So that's always good. Now this is, a, this is the parchment that I always talk oh, about when I bake. I, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this for, for decorating to make transfers because it's not a sheet. Hand, um, hand. It stays a little. Why don't you d mention about the royal icing transfers of your eyeball of your glasses? What you what we are. Oh yeah, the, the the glasses. I don't know if any any of you watched our live last week, but I had a really hard time getting off the transfers that I made, and those are the glasses that I made of the wax paper. And then I was talking to Mar a couple of days ago, right? And I was like, well, I made them again, and I could take them off with one finger. Like it was so easy. And then it dawned on me that I actually was drying them in the oven. So then I guess the wax kind of like melted into the cookie and it made it stick to the paper. So if you ever had that problem, think about your process. Maybe the heat is the culprit or the using wax paper instead of parchment. We are enablers, sorry. <laughs> awesome, another airbrush. <laughs> oh, end of September, you have strawberries. That's awesome. I, I don't know, like I'll see. They they uh, were really abundant and now they're kind of, you know, you see them here and there. So we'll see if, if we can find them tonight. Anyway, so this is the favorite parchment for baking for me. Um, I do like it because Yes, but the, my oven it was at three. three uh, it was at the thirty degrees of Celsius, so that wasn't like uh, you know high temperature. So I didn't even think about it. I would never use uh, wax paper in you know at three fifty or one hundred and eighty degrees of Fahrenheit. I know better than that. <laughs> so this is the parchment, and I like it also because I can. I often reuse it. Like if I make cookies with it, you know, and it looks decent, I will reuse it. Just, just you know. Here's a good question. What would well, you What you could do, uh, can we refresh? Well, you could, um, if you can find fresh, I would get the frozen ones. And um, I would make like a syrup thing. You know, I would put the sugar in, you could put alcohol in if you wanted to, to get like extra flavor cook it until it's like really thick and syrupy and then you could use that. You could even fold that into your whipped cream. Yeah, make a mousse. Or yeah, or make it, yeah, make, you could make strawberry mousse. And, that would be uh, nice, yeah, even if delicious. you could do like half, you know, the sponge cake and then do like a mousse on top kind of a thing, right? This says, uh, I just wanna, um, oh, it is your favorite parchment, that's great. This is. And this is my first time using this coconut oil. It says it's a virgin coconut oil. So I don't know much about coconut oil, I have to say. It says it's 100% coconut oil. It was, it kind of liquefied, it was solid, but because it's pretty warm here and we don't always have air on. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's all, all in Spanish, sorry. <laughs> How long does the, the cake bake for? Oh, oh yes, like we have to check it like in 15 minutes. I'm going to keep checking on it, I guess, soon um, because this oven, it has dual heating, so it smells very good. All right, so another another favorite product, and I use this a lot, this is the cream of tartar. If you don't have cream of tartar um, and you, are, you like to make meringues and um, uh, pavlova and things like that, it's really great to have on hand because it stabilizes egg whites. Even in royal icing, it's great to use it. Another favorite product is 
um, pulling back. Like I said, I think last week I mentioned these. I mentioned these also. These are my favorite pulling rags. I love I just, them because they don't take up too much space. You can put them in a dishwasher. Here you um, can see them stacked. I think when I personally buy things, a big part of me always think of how am I going to clean it. Uh, you know, if it's hard to clean, I'm like I'm not getting it. Like I had a I had a, a pulling rag. It was like retractable. It it was so great. I thought and oh gosh, it was spending about to clean, so I threw it out. <laughs> yes, Karen. Yes, we all know that Amazon can be pretty. <laughs> yeah. They show you all the suggest suggestions, and it's easy to um, purchase. Thanks things. for joining us, Rebecca. All right, another favorite product. Um, well, I, I did mention my mixing bowls. I do like my glass mixing bowls and stainless steel ones. But they, when I'm mixing on the counter, they tend to literally spin. So these don't spin. These kind of stay put when I'm mixing. Yes, yes. You can, instead of cream of tartar, you can use lemon juice or vinegar. It works as well. So these are actually KitchenAid, and I have them also listed in a supply list. So I is love there these. rubber I at the bottom? Know, five sets maybe. They come in different colors. And they're there, really, really, you know, also fashionable. Is there rubber at the bottom? There is a, there is a rubber on the bottom here. Yes. Okay. So that's why I like these. And I have them in yellow. This is teal, red, orange. So they do come in a wide range of colors. Do you have any favorite products that you use today? Today? Well, I really do like my handheld KitchenAid mixer. This is not expensive and it's very good quality. I, I mix, I, I mix, mix, I mix royal icing with it, and it's been, like, it, it really is. Here, it is quite expensive, I'd say. Oh yeah, like well, 160 euros or something. Oh yeah, no. Uh, yeah, it's quite expensive. I, I had a KitchenAid and I loved it. This, the one I have, it's Philips, and this is the third one. Oh yeah. Well, here, this fifty dollars. For the KitchenAid handheld, and if you don't have an electric mixer, it's like, and you want something, you know, affordable, very good, very good. Get the KitchenAid. It's like the KitchenAid brand has got a good reputation. You're almost sure it's going to be good, and if you buy your stuff from Costco, well, their return policy is so um, great for customers. That's like, if you can order via them, then you're really sure that you're not going to have any problems. Yeah, it's looking great. good. It's looking good. Well, it's perfect. looking good. Yes, it's looking good. I'm trying to think of like I don't have. So this is a really good spatula, spatula as well. Um, I think I sent you this. No, do you have it? I don't recall. I have I have so many spatulas. I don't I don't exactly remember. I do like this but. one, although I don't like it for mixing oil icing. Uh, but I do like it because it's seamless, and you know sometimes. When you have the the handle, it's separated and the stuff yes. gets between. It's kind of yucky I agree. and uh, it sometimes gets moldy and stuff. So this one doesn't. It is the uh, kind of there's like a metal piece inside, so it's pretty sturdy. I, I did see that Cynthia. They came out. Did you see? Hang KitchenAid came out with several actually wireless, like rechargeable, a little bit like tools that the yeah. You know, no, I have not seen. So I, I don't know if they're worth it because like I understand the tools because sometimes you're in an awkward area, there's no plug, but I mean, there's a plug everywhere for my mixer. So I don't, and it was considerably more expensive. So I don't know if it's worth it, but I did see them. Oh yeah, yes. Even my sister-in-law, she bought them when she visited us in the US and uh, I had to send her another set because she bakes also a lot and they are really good. Yes, they are. But yeah. I do have, unfortunately, I do have a lot of spatulas that have a handle, and uh, I bought some plastic ones that are easily you can you can take them apart, and they are you know you can wash them, and it's not too bad. You want to check on your yeah, that's what I'm doing with the, on the cake. So I guess nobody's baking with us today, but that's yeah, okay, guys. Maybe you can try this recipe when you have more time. I know well, it's the middle of the day. 
Yeah, but they might join us tomorrow for the assembly. Tomorrow, so. yes, that's exactly tomorrow. So I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. Marlon is going to do, uh, maybe you can tell them. Well, tomorrow, so you almost have to make the cake version. So I'm making it in cups. So if you're a beginner and cakes kind of intimidate you, I'm going to kind of make like a little dessert cup layering cubes of the cake with the whipped cream and the cut up strawberries. And these are um, great for um, little parties and stuff. My son graduated high school and he's having a little get together with his friends. So I'm gonna be bringing them for the, the little party. And um, also with the, you know, the COVID and all different things, individual servings are just, I guess, you know, for now uh, people were obsessed before when Oprah Winfrey had done the thing about talking about the bugs in our beds. Now everybody's going to be even more scared of germs with this whole COVID thing. So anyway, individual portions. It's terrible for plastic though. So you can use mason jars, but I'm bringing them to a party. So, you, you know, you don't get your stuff back often when you bring it to a party. So that's why I'm putting it in those cups. Right? You bring stuff to a party and then good luck getting your dish back. Has that ever happened to you, Han? I have a hard time hearing you. Oh, she's <laughs> smiling. She's yes, I'm just, I was reading Jeremy's comment how uh, freebies are sometimes the best, right? He, he got like a free spatula or something and he, he said it's the best. Yes, free, yes. Free, I like free stuff too. <laughs> At Walmart, they give you a free little spatula? Well, I know that if you buy a crock pot, you get sometimes the little dipper. Do you ever see that, the little dipper? Do you know what I'm talking about? It's a little crock pot, tiny, and it's great for like melting chocolate to do like fondue or to do uh, uh, cheese, um, you know, nacho cheese. Mm -hmm. It's like tiny. It's just a little thing. A little no, I don't thing. have it. No. I don't have it. No. No, no. Yes. How is your cake? Mine is not not baking here, so I don't know. It's not baking. It's still kind of like. Oh no, mine is coming along. Mine is coming along. Maybe I, it's the coconut oil. We'll see. Oh yes. Oh, Cynthia's saying sixty dollars. It's sold out. Well, oh, that's not too expensive. Sixty dollars. I'm wondering though if it it how long the battery lasts for. Flashlight. Yes, I have done that as well. Masking tape with my name on it. Yes, because people don't return, right? Tupperware. And it's like you give them a good quality Tupperware, and I get upset. <laughs> I don't get it back. <laughs> well, you know what I did a couple of times is if you're going to like a, a, a gathering, a party, sometimes you'll bring a bottle of wine. Well, what I do is I look for an expensive dish. And it's like, that's your hostess gift. You get to keep this dish that I don't have to chase you after for. You know, you get to keep it. <laughs> I get a new nice cat thing and then there's your hostess or, you know, instead of a bottle of wine. Then I don't have to find look for that, it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. So tomorrow I see you, you're going to do your cups and I, um, I, I'm i going to think about it. Well, I wanted I'm to be something also using, like super easy. Like I wanted to, I wanted it to be easy, but also kind of like you know pretty to look at. So we'll see. Maybe I'll do some piping with the whipped cream or something like that. Thanks, ladies. I'm gonna buy lactose-free whipped cream too. That's the other difference. Oh, there I, is such a thing. Yes, I'm lactose intolerant, so I'm gonna be buying a lot lact because you know even though I am bringing it to that party, I'm planning on eating some of it. <laughs> How does that whip? I can't wait to see that. It's really, there's no difference. There's, there's no, no difference. It's just Here, more expensive. Here, whipping cream, it's so heavy. Oh yeah, it's you make 30, butter. Well, you can get, I think, 38% fat, and 36, I think, is the lowest one I found. And I can't even, I, I don't remember what was the heavy cream in the US, but when I whip it, it's like butter. It's thick as butter. Like, I do miss that, like, light, you know, texture. Oh, yes. that's a great idea. I love yard sale. Yes, Jessica, uh, what am I saying to Han used to, that was your activity in the States. You guys would yes, go Yes, I love yard sales. sales and all the, oh, it was so much fun. Uh, every Saturday we would go and. Uh, 
Yeah, it's, I know. it's really like a treasure hunt, you know. Like you go yes. and sometimes you you find find these things that are really really amazing. I found some odd stuff that, uh, yeah, actually I found. It. <laughs> I mean, don't laugh, okay? So I bought this at the garage sale. <laughs> Here in, 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 in Spain? Oh, what? In Spain or when you were in the States? No, no, no. In the U.S. In the U.S. This is a nesting nesting doll. And um, uh, recently I've met a Ukrainian boy and he told me uh, I couldn't figure out what this meant. So it's a town in uh, Ukraine. And it has, I don't know, seven of them in, in there. Hen, you had a ton of uh, cake stands. That you had yes, bought. I did. I did uh, sell some uh, or gave away. I did bring few. I brought like a milk, a uh, glass milk, or milk, or is it the glass milk or milk glass? I think it's milk <laughs> glass. glass. Milk. Yeah, I did bring few, but I was afraid they're going to break in, in you know, transport. Mm -hmm. So I didn't really bring a whole lot. Oh, oh, that's not good, April. Do you have it written down maybe somewhere? <laughs> I hate when that happens. I the passwords are a nightmare, and all the different platforms we have to remember, and then you're supposed to change them every so often, so just you know, to update them and everything. It is quite something to remember all the passwords. I have to say. So thanks everyone for joining us today. We're trying to uh, get Han her ten hours of live streaming for June. Facebook is doing all kinds of challenges for content creators, which we are, and so. So you you want to? So you see, I brought my cake out. It's it's baked. Well, let's let's put it in the stream so she, we can see it. Hold so on. You want to cook it until you know the toothpick comes there. out clean. You see, it's lightly golden. Depending on your oven, how fast it's uh, baking, it might be maybe uh, slightly paler than this. And um, I'm gonna show you. Normally, I would let it cool in there for about five minutes before I attempt to do this, but. Oh, it's going to, it's going to, is it going to survive? Oh, you're lifting it that way. Okay. See what I was saying? Like, it's so easy to, if you do this, you know, with your brownies and. Yeah. So it's super easy. And then it, it's just the cleanup too. You don't have to yes, scratch you your pen. Too. Oh. So I don't know if I would reuse this. I mean, if it's not too bad, you could reuse it, but because it's so big, it's kind of like hard to, you know, keep track of it, like where I put it. So I would probably toss it. Oh, really? That's interesting, Lara. Thank you. I try to keep mine at 16, but eight. I work, okay, do the password change. It takes a hacker 15 seconds to get a password less than 18 characters. Well, that's why mine is like 30 characters. 30. <laughs> Well, Han had her account hacked a couple of years yes. ago, I want to say. Yes. I, it's a nightmare. Yes, I have. And I nearly actually yesterday, um, I had a bit of a scare on Facebook, just so you guys are aware. Um, uh, the phishing, the, they're sending it through the notifications. And I felt yeah. like it was a legit Facebook uh, message. And... It was saying, I'm going to get blocked, my, my page is going to get deleted, and there were other pages included that they were also under the same spell. And um, so I reached out to other fellow bloggers, and they definitely, you know, they all told me that it is a, you know, spam. Mm -hmm. So uh, be aware. And it was actually attached, you know, like we tag each other, like let's say Sweet Ems shared one of my videos. So it was attached to that tag hmm. yeah and this morning I got another one Wonderful. so just be very careful about what you're clicking on uh, try not to click on anything and uh, don't enter your information anywhere Scammer. it is what it is I mean you have to be very careful so just I just uh, want to mention so tomorrow we're putting together the strawberry shortcake but next Tuesday we're using a cake mix just again, we want to, you know. I'm going to get it. Is it the brownie one? We're making yes. brownie cups. I've never made brownie cups. So I bought brownie mix here. I'm going to show you. So we're going to be making brownie cups. And then uh, we're going to make strawberry sundaes. Uh, not strawberry. Ice cream sundaes. What am I saying? Ice cream sundaes with that. 
So those are Dr. Atker in Europe is quite a so This is a really popular brand here. Dr. Atker is everywhere. Um, and this is the only brand of brownies in the park that I could find. Obviously, I'm going to have to, I mean, I understand the temperature, but <laughs> I'm going to have to uh, translate this. You need to look this. for an app that can read for you. Yes, well, this is um, 100 grams of butter or margarine, three eggs, and 50 milliliters water, which is um, 50 milliliters. It's little, it's, it's little less than a quarter cup or about a quarter cup. I can't wait to do this. I'm so excited about the brownie cups. Well, I mean, ice cream. You love ice cream. Yes. It's like your favorite thing in the in a dump cake. What's a dump cake again? Remind me. What's I have no cake? idea either. I don't know what it's that is. It's a dump is. cake where you put everything, like um, whatever you find, <laughs> like a uh, kitchen sink cake. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's a little. I don't know. Like I, that. I have to look up what a dump cake is. But I do have few cakes that are even, I think, easier to put together than this. You don't need a mixer or anything like that. But how about your cake? Is it baked? Um, the center is still like, you know, it's like, it's not, uh, it's still very jiggly. Using fruit on the bottom cake mix, sprinkled on top, melted butter on top. Oh, I've never made that. Uh, oh, yes, it sounds out like a cobbler. I love a cobbler. Yeah, it, it's um. I've seen that on Pinterest. Did you make That's anything pretty... diabetic? I must not miss it. I uh, diabetic. Maybe we will make. It. I don't know. Um, yes, there's, what's the you substitute know, the for is, sugar for for diabetics? They've come out really like it's it, it. They've come out with a lot of interesting products now. You know, like even celiac disease. You know, all the the gluten-free and the diabetic, like the diabetic, like the sugars that are made of different things. There's a lot of options now for people. So that's great. Maybe we will uh, in the future. Oh, that's we'll see how this series go. Um, the thing is now the fruit is so easy to find. I think cans is great in the winter, but if you can pick up fresh fruit, it's so nice. Yes. I have heard of monk fruit for diabetics, yes. And I think Amber has used it. Maybe we can, I mean, you guys uh, seem to really like the dump cake idea. Maybe. Yeah. Crushed pineapple as a fruit layer. Yeah, that's interesting. I love pineapple upside down cake. She finds it too sweet. Hmm. So this is a 13, um, 13 by nine inch cake that I bake. And you see, I used the five eggs and um, it's not too, too tall. I don't know if I would recommend doubling the recipe. If you do double the recipe, I would put a nail in, in there, you know? Um, oh, yes. Yeah, I would do a core. So it, uh, because it is a, you know, it would be taller. So I would definitely use a core just so it bakes evenly. Or and if you have trouble with baking it, if it's browning too much, you can create a dome with uh, the foil and put it over the cake in the oven just so it doesn't brown too much. Uh, that's oh. uh, that's interesting. Never, I, never, I never made dump cake. No? No? Here, I make a thing called grandfathers. Yes, you told me about those. We should make those. Yes, and so uh, it's an old, like, this is, you know, Quebec, it's like the immigrants came from England and all that and the French, and so it was before ovens, and so they would just put the, the fruit kind of to boil in a pot, and then they would spoon basically like lard, flour, and milk with the leavening agent, and it makes like these clumps of dough that boil in the fruit or maple syrup, and it's actually like very good. It's old, old. No, it looked recipe. amazing when you showed me. You made it with yes. blueberries. It looked really amazing. I yes, love old recipes. Maybe, maybe you know, if you guys have an old recipe that you check. are not afraid to or you, you're willing to share with us, I love trying new recipes. And old recipes are usually the best. Yes, something like that. Yes. So, mine, oh, Jeremy, Jeremy. because we were, we were chit-chatting, it's darker. It's darker. Oh, it's darker, but is it is it baked inside? Oh, for sure. It's quite dark now. 
but I mean, it's going to oh, be it, okay. Well, hopefully, it's not too dry. Now, if it happens to you guys that your cake comes out and it's like, oh gosh, it's so dry. So what you can do, you can um, you can uh, use uh, sugar syrup and kind of brush some sugar syrup on it, or use you know extra fruit or juice to. But, help but because with the I'm making it, mine it in the cups, longer. yes, you're right. But because I'm making mine in the cups, it should be fine. Right. Oh, Kathleen, that's. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry you torture yourself. We don't mean to torture anyone. We we mean to bring you. Uh, <laughs> yes. There's no torture. Uh, joy, but uh, congrats on losing 35 pounds. That's awesome. Yes. That's awesome. I've been also trying to exercise. I mean, here in Spain, you know, like you have to. You know, it's summer, so everybody's wearing dresses and stuff. So I've been trying to lift weights and run and think, do things out outdoors, be more active. But I do love my ice cream. Today I already had ice cream. I can't say no to ice cream. And we're actually going after today, after live, we're going to hunt for strawberries. And we're going to our favorite uh, ice cream place. It's a pizza place, and they have like a small um i should probably take a picture um they have a small um section where they sell ice cream and it's a ice cream that they make themselves it's essentially gelato but it is fantastic two apples peeled sliced spread one box spice cake so could you if i don't have a spice cake i assume i could probably also use a, a cake like this that i would make a mix maybe half of it and uh, i could maybe pour it over it 30 minutes done. Mm. Yes, Jeremy, you had told us that, but I haven't received any packages yet. You want ice cream in the mail? Oh, why not? If it comes frozen, I'm all in. <laughs> well, you have, I mean, they can keep it frozen. No, do they ship ice cream? I don't think Amazon so. ships everything, no? I get. I Have you get, ever gotten ice cream in mail, guys? Please let us know. We would love to know about that. Well, I know that they make some sort of like freeze dried something or other, but I don't know how what all that would taste like. I have tried. Have you tried? Um, I was going to try. You know, the quick ice cream without the chewing, um, with the sweet condensed milk. Have you tried that? Does not sound interesting to me. Yeah. Use can you can use vanilla cake poured over canned raspberry. Oh gosh, you guys have are giving us some nice ideas. You could ship ice cream. I get. I guess the thing is, is it? I, I, I mean, here where I live, there's so many different things at the grocery store. Not necessary. So mine is still. It's still warm. It's gonna. I would say uh, if you bake. If you plan on. Um, having people over, give it like 30 minutes to cool. But because we are chatting, it does take, it's fairly quickly, you know, it, in 10 minutes you have the cake in the oven, in 20 it's baked, 30 minutes. So, um, you know, and, it, and then you can just have whipped cream and the fruit on the side and people can assemble or you can. But if you're putting whipped cream and the cake is hot, it's gonna just become soup. So you wanna really, you know, let the cake cool or else it's oh, not. Oh yeah, they would get stuck in customs, all right, Jennifer, they would eat it all. <laughs> <laughs> yes. For sure. It's like, oh, this is ice cream, we can eat it. And we are going to say it melted. Oh, they use dry, yeah, dry ice. Hmm? But dry ice is pretty pricey, no? Have you used dry ice? Um, no, but I got the other day, I order, you know, that meat, that vegetarian, uh, plant-based. Just one more thing. Somebody please take a screenshot for us. Why you can't? Oh, oh, you can I do it. I can't do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> because I'm on a, a phone. <laughs> I just did it. Awesome. I also started a new Instagram account. It's called baking with my BFF, which is, um, absolutely true. We are best friends, Marlene and I. So you guys can follow us there and where you can find all the updates, what we are going to make and maybe some behind the scenes footage and things like that. And I'm sorry you were saying. I don't even remember. So it mustn't have been very important. Right? But we are also, so next week we are making brownie cups and we're gonna fill it with whatever I guess we'll find. It will be a surprise. 
And then we're also, I don't know what's next after that. Um, after that is the berry crumble, which could be the dump cake. Could be it could dump. be a dump cake. We could turn it into a dump cake, which would and be interesting because dogs. you guys, those of you who suggest a dump cake, you will be obligated to make it with us. Yes. <laughs> You're going to have to make the just dump Just kidding. Cake just kidding. But I've never made it, so it'll be interesting to see how that turns out. Yes. So maybe we can do that instead of uh, berry crumble because I love like berry crumble. It's also really easy to put together. Uh, and then we have a um, drink episode that is coming up. Yes, that's what everybody has to participate in the peanut. Everybody has to participate. Yes, uh, Marlon is making because uh, she's very, you know, <laughs> time. <laughs> um, uh, what was I saying? Yes, you're making um, non-alcoholic version. I'm going to be making alcoholic version because it's going to be later in the day here. So. And it's going to be pina colada. That's it. Need a baking long when I'm not working. Well, sometimes we need to take a, you know, a little day off. Take a day off. <laughs> That's it. Oh yeah, drinks. Yes, all my neighbors will for that. <laughs> okay, how is your cake? So I'm going to what I'm how I'm gonna uh, store it. So. Um, once it cools, or even if it's like lukewarm, you can wrap it in a food wrap. It actually helps. Like when it's lukewarm, it kind of keeps it moist. And you can store it on the counter for up to three days. Otherwise, stick it in the fridge. Uh, again, wrap it well. And then uh, you can, you know, use it. But I'm just going to wrap it in a food wrap and leave it on the counter because tomorrow we're going to be assembling our cakes. Uh, we're going to get strawberries, whipped cream. And uh, what else? Is that it? Powdered sugar? I don't know. I might use some gelatin if you wanted to guys see how I yes. use the gelatin. But honestly, whipped cream here, like I said, it's it whips like into butter. So I don't really need to. It's very, very stable. But that's a nice trick. I, I, I makes a Malva big difference. pudding. Pudding? In Thank you, Caitlin. I don't know what that is. Malva pudding. You know what we should do? I love um, flan, but that's like a two two day project almost because it yeah. is with cool, but it is so good, so so good. Yes, uh, flan. It's like a tricky one to do during a live stream. Yes, and also, guys, a uh, reminder: we also have a uh, we created a pantry fund to help us uh, fund these. Um, Bake along lives that we are doing. Um, so if you wanted to check it out and maybe help us along, it's on uh, both of our coffee shops. South African baked dessert. Is it pudding pudding or like is it bread put like? Because there is a you know is there a bread in there? I love bread pudding. Do you like bread pudding? I hate it. You hate it. <laughs> I love bread pudding. It's and I'm not so flanny. I know like some people love their flan. I'm not so flanny. I I, I, I like it every day. I, I think, um, yeah, I like everything. Unless it has like, I don't know, moving stuff in there. I love everything. <laughs> See, Brianna doesn't, doesn't like bread pudding. No, I'm missing, I'm missing um, 600 stars to get my Facebook bonus. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel, Mar. Okay. Well, it's more fun. Than really, you don't like bread pudding, uh, but I have to. Like, you would like my bread pudding. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't. Yes, exactly, exactly. My thoughts, exactly. It, you know, thoughts. another thing I really don't like is rice pudding. That's another one that's not. What do you not like? Rice pudding. Oh, I love it. all the pudding. Uh, give it to me. Yeah. I, oh yeah, yeah. no. I no, I'm like, like a rice but not don't pudding. repeat this i'm like a trash can you know like i'll eat any dessert <laughs> you're a trash can oh no i i i'm not a fussy dessert person but um yeah rice is i like it like for a meal but not in uh i like a smooth you know what i mean i don't want to find random clumps in my mouth oh i see very particular 
enjoy yeah, I like that. rice pudding. I do like good chocolate pudding with uh, with eclairs and uh, raspberries. We can know. <laughs> What's the name? Baking the new Instagram right handle. It's actually, um, let me just quickly double check. Um, yes, exactly. It's a texture thing. It's all about like, it, it, you know, uh, that's it. It's like what you're used to. It is um, baking with my BFF, right? I think so. so. Let me, okay, baking with my BFF. I'm going to Okay, Instagram, cooperate. <laughs> oh, here it is. Yeah, so it's baking with my BFF. This is what it looks like. You see, or oh, maybe yeah. here you'll see it's, better. We're, we're side by side virtually. It was a Photoshop, obviously. We've been baking together. Baking with my BFF. We Two had 36 five. followers, thank you. <laughs> Oh, we're up so to yes, we will be sharing some updates, what we are, you know, doing. And I don't know, guys, would you like to see some behind the scenes, how we are shopping or finding the ingredients? We just want it to be as natural and genuine, you know, as uh, much as possible. Yeah, we're trying, like, not trying. I can't do the overly happy thing, you know? I can't do it. You know? You know what I'm talking about? Yes, thank about. you. Yes, that's it, Jennifer. That is exactly it. So we're not going to be making any rice pudding anytime soon. Well, I mean, you guys are welcome to make the rice pudding and enjoy it. My <laughs> son likes it. Your family doesn't like it either? Ryan, I buy it for him because he does yeah. like it, but I don't like it's not, you know, something like but It's okay if you don't like it. Yeah. I'm not going to like you any less. They sell it at the grocery store in these little cups and I buy it for him. You know. Well, for the cookies, I would generally buy butter at the BJ's because it was the, I'll be honest, it was the cheapest butter that I could find. <laughs> um, it was unsalted. I would always go with unsalted butter. Unsalted butter. Like, I wouldn't use Irish butter in my cookies, like with cut out cookies, because I felt like $5 for butter. I mean, it was quite expensive. So I prefer that kind of butter on my toast or, you know, bread with jam. So I can really, really, really yes. like taste it, you know. Um, how about you, Mar? Where do you get your butter? Um, I get it here at the grocery store. I live um, like really close to the island of Montreal. So I mean, I'm in a very like, you know, there's all kinds of stores everywhere. And so there's, you know, like same thing as many towns in the States. There's like the no frills, like kind of more... Uh, frugal shopping type of options. And then there's like the fancier grocery stores. So they have the different products. So local, like local brands. I would also get it at Wegmans on occasion. They had good butter as well. Yes, I would imagine that would be nice. Uh, oh yeah, that's order. nice. Well, I, I guess I could try making butter. Maybe one day we can make butter. With uh, the heavy cream butter. I can get, I mean, I I'll, can just whip it and it will be done in 10 seconds. Probably. I'll watch you make butter, but I'm you'll not. Wa you'll watch me make butter? I'm not going to make butter. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, she makes her own ricotta cheese. She does all kinds of other things. 20 I pounds of butter, butter. $1.99. Oh, nice. Yes. One time, uh, my friend from a bakery, she gave me butter. And little did I know that bakeries don't buy butter at, you know, it's not one pound. She gave me a big, like it was a brick a of butter. It was frozen. Oh. <laughs> so we had to like, you know, chisel yeah, it. That's so tr could, yeah, that's I'm tricky sorry? to use. That's tricky to use. That I is very tricky to use because it's a big, I mean, we had to let it defrost, but when you let it too much, you know, then it becomes too soft and you can't really cut it into chunks you want. So it was kind of difficult. Yes. Yes, I made I made kolache yesterday. Actually, turned out amazing. I used some strawberries uh, that I had, but they were almost, almost, you know, like on the edge of going spoiled. Oh. Okay. Well, Han. Butter from Costco. Have you tried it? I think people have tried it, and it was okay. Well, my, the butter here at Costco is is. 
um, just the regular grocery store butter. Like they don't have a Costco brand here in Canada. There's protections for dairy farmers. So I don't know that they'd be even allowed to maybe sell Costco butter, but they sell like common, like it's lactansia, like common brands at Costco. It's not Costco butter. It's our common, it's all, there's all kinds of protections for maple syrup pro, uh, producers and dairy producers here in Canada and Quebec. Kim, thanks for joining us. You must have a lemon something or other on your blog. I don't know if I have lemon. I have a lemon pound cake, but it is like if he, he, he likes something like light with a little bit of flavor, um, you could add lemon to pre like pretty much uh, like just use lemon zest. If you have a favorite recipe, if you feel up for it, I mean, July 5th might be too, too, um, too late for pavlova. But pavlova with lemon curd is very good. If you want, like, or you could just make sponge cake and make lemon curd. And lemon curd with whipped cream, let me tell you. And blueberries, oh, yeah, yum. That's very good. And this yeah, is you can, the thing is, sponge cake you can make ahead of time. Lemon curd you can make ahead of time. All you have to do is, uh, you know, make whipped cream on the day off and you will have yourself a fabulous dessert. Sounds yummy. Well, Han, we're hitting right. our target. I we think wanted, we can wrap it up. Well, we wanted an hour, 15 minutes. We're trying to chisel down her 10 hours <laughs> that she needs. She needs 10 hours of live streaming to get a Facebook, a bonus, a reward. And I need 600 more stars, which you can donate via the comment section on Facebook. And then I get my target for Facebook. So that'd be awesome. I'm almost there. I'm at 90% of my target. So that's. Yeah, but Jennifer, if she mix, if she folds some of the lemon curd into the whipped cream, I don't like, it's really nice. Not like a straight lemon curd on the, on the sponge cake, but if she folds some of the lemon curd into the whipped cream, it's very nice. It's not so too overpowering. So if you're not a lemon, lemon, uh, like super fan that's like how you can get some of the lemon flavor without being it over the top so the stars are one star is one penny or that's what we get and so um if you click at the comment section and you click the star you'll see facebook like you'll see the breakdown and see if it's up your alley you can see it in the comment section it's pinned at the at the top there and that's how you access it. I think they're even having a sale of, like to buy them. Thank you guys. If you, uh, well, thanks to everybody that supports our lives, watching, sharing, commenting, all that helps us. Facebook studies all your movements, <laughs> as we all know. Oh, she watched this. She pressed that button. She wrote that. Oh, 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 right. And those of you who are just joining us, and maybe this is your first ever live watching, we also do lives on Fridays where we focus on cookie decorating. And this is what we did last week. And you can watch the replay on both of our YouTube channels and also Facebook. And this week uh, we are going to do, I believe we are doing a uh, 4th of July and Canada Day theme. So we're, really, we're that's going good on So Fridays. that's what we will be doing. We're joined on Fridays by uh, also Amber with uh, of Sweet Ams. So she's with us on Fridays. And Friday, this Friday, it's Han and Amber that are decorating that uh, Canada Day, 4th of July theme. A tribute to my country. <laughs> yes. All right. So we have... You've hit your target. I'm going to hit my target. I see it an hour 15. You're there. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thanks for joining us. Make sure you hit the like button. Yes, Cynthia. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> and we'll see you tomorrow for assembly time. And if you guys decide yes, to... Yes, we'll see time, you at the same time, 1 p.m. Eastern time. Be ready with your sponge cakes, strawberries, and whipped cream. See you then. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys.